G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. We are here with Doctor Who special number four. I believe this is just a Christmas special. Disney Plus say it's a uh, special number four. It's part of the 60th anniversary specials they got going on. This is the last one, I believe, before season 14 starts. Uh, we have a new Doctor, Shooty Gatwa. Uh, I believe this is also where he gets introduced to a new companion. From what I understand, anyway. Uh, no idea what this story is going to be about. I haven't paid attention to any sort of trailers or anything like that, so... We're just going to get right into it, because I'm excited to see more of this new Doctor. See what he's like. As opposed to just the few minutes that we saw of him in the last special. We really get to see what he's like in this. So let's just get to it. Once upon a time... Late on Christmas Eve, a stranger came to the church on Ruby Road. She carried in her arms the most precious gift of all. A new Money! Child, a baby girl. Uh, is it going to be uh, in an orphanage? She left her daughter on the steps of the church. Mm. Abandoned on Christmas Eve, huh? But who are you? And they named Why? Ruby after the place where she was found. Ah, so this is the church on Ruby Road then. Okay. As for the who mother, are you? She was never seen again. No one ever knew her name. It's the TARDIS. Until that night, a time traveler came to call. A traveler known as the Doctor. Interesting. I like this new intro. That's how I got my name. Ruby. Named after Ruby Road. That's where I was found almost 19 years ago. So you were a foundling and you were fostered by Carla, who then went on to adopt you. Is that right? Yeah, and she, she's amazing. I mean, she's nuts, hmm. but. <laughs> so she's not the one who's like famous to so mother, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. So life's been good, would you say? Yeah, Maybe I don't know. I mean, Why is she being interviewed? With it, we? And my home levels were not the best because we had to leave Manchester to move down here because we came and looked after my gran and we couldn't afford care and she would never move to the north not in a million years. So yeah, that's been tricky and expensive. No one would move to London. I know. So that's left me a bit stranded. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't know. So Ruby, the reason why we make this show is to see if we can Ooh. help you. In the old okay. days, foundlings were left without a trace, but now we really can work magic with DNA. So, isn't there a show like so that for like celebrities that do that shit? To help Finding their ancestors or something. And we're hoping to be able to trace your birth mother, or birth father, or someone in your family. But Ruby, we can't work miracles. And even if what the hell? Make contact. They might not want to be found. And we have to respect that. Troublemakers. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what were they? Like little trolls or goblins or something? I don't know. Why is he just standing there staring? That's not creepy. <laughs> nice hat. I don't know. I think it's just dead. Give me some willy! Alright, I said sorry, okay? Can you do Gary Gate? Can we do what? <laughs> Didn't even check the plug to see if it was plugged in. I don't know. Okay. Having fun. Didn't really see the doctor start dancing like that. These fucking things.
They got that fast. <laughs> Careful. Thank you. But you were just a mm -hmm. helping. She stopped paying more attention. <laughs> it's a big old snowman. It's covered by heavy clouds. Kick it. To have faith that those work though, tell you what. Mavity. It's a blimp. Damn! Wait, that is a ship. She's very accepting of what's happening right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All these companions should really be freaking out more when they come across the situation for the first time. I can't believe this. I can't believe No, but who are you? Why are you an expert in time traveling goblins? Oh. <laughs> they are not time travelers. Excuse me. <laughs> Time travelers are great, like the best, like wow. This lot just sure they are. Right. So, language, tapestry, coincidence. Okay. I must have time for the feast. What? What time is it now? Oh. After two. We got five minutes. Why the? I think that's the dinner goblin. You don't say. What's the time? Two o'clock. Three minutes to. No. Is that a fan? <laughs> Wait. Dinner and a show. But how does one baby feed all that? <laughs> this is morbid. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's kind of bad that the mouth isn't really moving when she's singing. I wonder who ship this is. The Goblin King? Alright. Those goblins are having fun. They're not babies. <laughs> and this 
is my friend, Ruby Sunday. And I would just like to say... You one ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Why stop singing? Rocket Janice! This is a very different doctor. I like it. Keep him distracted long enough. All right, nice distraction. Love the glove, Ruby. Love the glove. Wow. <laughs> well, they got the baby back. Bye. She's just still sitting there. Hey, sorry, I've given up on that copper and opted for a life of abstinence. And who is this young fellow when he's at home? <laughs> Hi, I'm the doctor. Last time I saw Doctor, he tried to murder me, so you stay away. <laughs> oh. oh, you don't need me. You got your family looking after you. Mm. Cherry Sunday. <laughs> like a tasty treat. <laughs> yes. I'll see you later, Cherry, okay? <laughs> oh, she's oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh. Suppose that makes sense. Anything burn? Who are they? Oh, that's the family. It's mum's children. Oh, it's all the kids that she's fostered over the years. Mm. So many. It's a lot of them. She still keeps in touch with some of them. Mm. Lots of them. She's amazing. You have got the biggest family in the world. <laughs> I have. Don't know about yellow in the kitchen. <laughs> all the covers and drawers with the uh, orange countertops. day ever and it is christmas and it's my birthday and it's just been a disaster no but uh, there, there, look, there was a problem but it's gone now no point worrying your mom i'm sorry i'm sorry just um is is baby still covered in salt or whatever seasoning they use i'm adopted hmm. Hmm. yeah yeah yeah, I, uh, I only found out recently. That's a coincidence. Oh, don't be saying that. So do you oh, man. Abandoned? Oh, you were found in just like Ruby. Mm. <laughs> Even bigger coincidence. <laughs> Stop talking. <laughs> Damn. That is fucked. They land the ship on the joint or what? Ah, absolutely nothing. Yeah. Why would they just leave? They just cracked it off. Now tell me, what the hell just happened? Uh, maybe we should sit you down and tell you a Christmas story. Huh? What'd you think, Ruby? They took Ruby. Don't be daft. Ruby's not my daughter. I'm fostering her just for a couple of days. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean your daughter, Ruby. Who's Ruby? Where are all the pictures of the kids? Your daughter. I told you, this is Lulu. And she's a right old pain on Christmas Eve. Last thing I need. Son of a bitch. They've erased like everyone, like all those kids. Sorry. Do you remember Ruby? What you talking about? Your granddaughter is called Ruby. There is no beginning at this home. We were never so blessed. And then she's now depressed. They both are. Son of a bitch. Another child named Ruby. I've never had children, mate. No, you adopted her. 
a foster. Now don't be so stupid. I'm a foster mother. Just do it now and then, that's all. I've had about five or six kids. No, 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 you had... 33, yeah. How did they do that? This little brat arrives really on a holiday. I was looking forward to it. Christmas Day, Mum's asleep by three. And I'll be all on my own. Why would I want a daughter? And I'm happy as I am. Clearly not. Then why are you crying? Don't know. Something's missing. Why are you? He knows the truth. They went back in time and took Ruby instead of Lunabelle. They cracked the timeline. Yeah, that's why. I will fix this. I will fix this. He's gonna have to go back. <laughs> this woman. <laughs> And this is the... yeah, okay. Kick the goblin. These fucks. It's even got a Christmas hat on. <laughs> no gloves this time. It's only got three percent, yeah. Damn, he is pulling that thing down. How slow is that conveyor belt? Gonna use Mavity. <laughs> Timeline's fixed. Yeah, they kind of look like the boots the old doctor used to wear. Why'd they focus on that? It's another old person watching that blue box disappear and <laughs> come back. Maybe. Reach at last. And don't forget, Yay. Two yellow pills at she one finally one. got her tea. You're the least of my problems. Where did he come from? Why was he even here in the first place? I, I don't know. He sort of popped A lot of questions. And... She's never going to be able to answer. Where are you going now? And Santa Claus. It's a Christmas miracle. Mrs. Blood, did you see? That there was a man and... He's about so high and amazing in a big leather coat. What do you mean? <laughs> yep. Doesn't go on anywhere. <laughs> She's doing the thing. It's very uplifting, <laughs> this whole music moment, the end here. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Yes, you are. Yeah, that was a much better Christmas special than the ones that have been in the past, I don't even know how many years, man. Some of them have been good, some of them have just been boring as hell. But this one was very good. Uh, all about coincidences and accidents and goblins and that goblin king is just dead <laughs> um, I wonder if Ruby's mother, like biological mother is going to come into play at the next season at all not that she really matters in the long run but I don't know like that ending was very very uplifting I couldn't stop smiling through the whole way uh, but yeah, I love the Doctor's energy. He's 
and obviously he's having fun, you know, singing and dancing. It's not something you really see the Doctor do all that often, um, if at all, really. But yeah, the, the Doctor and Ruby's chemistry was very, very good. As is the case with most uh, Doctor and companions. I think that's the whole thing anyway. God, yeah, spring 2024 is when it'll happen. And I'm very much looking forward to see how they handle the new season. If you guys enjoy this reaction and want to see more of Doctor Who when it finally comes back, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and join me next time. See you then.